Good morning. Well, morning for me. Um, back again. I uh, wanted to do another quick review, another product. No, I haven't been around a lot lately. I've been going through some things with my back problems. Uh, severely injured uh, in a work injury. Um, <clears throat> don't know if I mentioned it before, but a quick update on that. Um, they uh, are working on scheduling surgery. Uh, I tried to avoid it as much as I could, but there's no other option with what's wrong what's with what's injured the way it's injured there's nothing other nothing else that will help except surgery pills aren't going to help uh therapy isn't going to help got to be operated on don't want to be grim don't want to get me don't want to be a downer but <clears throat> that's why i haven't been really around lately so that's going to change starting now starting today i'm going to do a review on another smoke that i uh, recently got some coupons for in the mail and um, I gave these a shot. Um, they're natural American spirit. And the ones that I have are the menthol full body. They come in a green pack, come in the uh, king size. That's what they look like. They have the uh, one thing I do like about these cigarette is I do, ooh, I have uh, indigestion, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, one thing I do like about these, they have the little Thunderbird there. How well you can see it. There it is. The little Thunderbird emblem stamped on the on the paper. Um, nothing really fancy, just plain and straight on simple. Uh, tobacco's packed nicely. I didn't really have to pack these much. Uh, it's in there pretty nice. Um, when you smell it, you can definitely definitely I can smell menthol right away. It's the biggest thing I can tell you about these is you can smell the menthol before while you're opening the pack, you can smell menthol. Now I've smoked quite a few of these already, but you can really smell, really smell that menthol. It, it comes in a little, it's like a, a white glossy paper to them. Uh, like a, you know, the fresh seal. I mean, so far, I mean, I've been impressed with Marlboro's, their ice offering that has the the resealable pack. That seems to do better than anything I've ever come across. Um, but, you know, it's a different company. Um, initial thoughts on these are, for my liking, they're a little too harsh. Um when you give it a nice draw, it's very harsh in the back of your throat. But like I said, I got coupons from for them for is four bucks a pack. I have four other coupons uh, for the same thing. Um, I'm gonna be trying the other brands, and when I do that, I promise you I'm gonna share that experience with all of you. Uh, the next product I'm gonna try from the Natural American Spirit line is going to be the Mellow Menthol, and that comes in a light green pack. Looks just the same way it's in a light green pack. But we're doing these right now, so let's give these a shot. They light pretty quick. Very pleasant light. They're easy to light. You don't have to sit there and, you know, this is something that you got to sit there and really, you know, try to get them to light. Um, these don't light as nice as the Marlboro do, but then again, I'm biased because that's my brand. It's all menthol <laughs> guys it's all menthol um there's not much tobacco flavor uh and as i've mentioned in some of my previous videos um i don't mind some menthol in my smoke but i like to taste good tobacco and they say that this tobacco is water cured um we focus on giving you only the best whole leaf tobacco that the earth provides, grown responsibly. Discover our commitment at AmericanSpirit.com. Made in our zero waste to landfill facility. Ingredients, organic tobacco and organic menthol. So that's what you get on the back. It comes with a nice little recycling symbol. It says respect for the earth. Um, 
I mean, no matter what your social or political leanings are, you got to respect that. That's kind of cool. Um, it is harsh. It's very when it says when it says full bodied and bold, they're not kidding. They are full bodied and bold. Uh, a little more than my like, just simply because I like to taste a tobacco. And the menthol in these, in my personal opinion, overpowers the tobacco taste. Hmm. It's almost like I can taste the paper, too. And that's another no-no for me. <laughs> I don't like to be able to taste the paper in my cigarettes. I understand you're always going to get a little bit of that flavor, whether it be aftertaste or while you're smoking it. Uh, some uh, smokes that I've encountered, you taste the paper when you first light it, and then that kind of diminishes as you smoke it. These, for some reason to me, it's almost like a straw-type papery flavor that you get with every draw, and that disappointingly takes away from uh, the smoking experience, in my opinion. Um, like I said, menthol, I could do menthol. This is just a little too much menthol for me. And that's surprising seeing how that Marlboro's ice offering, uh, they, they market that as a bold and crisp menthol flavor. Those I can deal with uh, just because the menthol has a very nice, um, uh, in my opinion, wintergreenish mint uh, hint <laughs> to it. This is just straight up menthol. I mean, if you like menthol cigarettes, and if you like, you know, very in your face, smacking the teeth type menthol flavor, you'll like these, I'm pretty sure. Um, but like I said, in my opinion, I'm very disappointed that being able to taste the paper, and that might even be some of the filter. I know that they say that it's, it's all 100% recycled materials. Now, I don't know how true that is. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, but, um, you know, you can definitely taste something other than menthol and tobacco. And, you know, since they say that the only ingredients are the, the organic tobacco and organic menthol, I'm going to assume that what I'm tasting is a flavor coming from the paper or the filter or whatever material that's recycled they used to make the filters. And it doesn't really put out the, the when I and I'm going to give a nice draw. This next draw is going to be a really nice draw. It doesn't really give out consistent consistent smoke clouds. And for y'all who vape, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say the cloud, uh, because you know vapors seem to be obsessed with a cloud. Um, but it doesn't really give me that consistent. I like to have a cloud too, but I mean I don't know if it's to show off or if it's just my personal satisfaction, visual satisfaction of seeing that cloud from me, um, you know, actively smoking the cigarette. Oh, excuse me again. But um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice, long, good, solid draw and uh, see what we get with this drag. I mean, it's not, I'm not going to be nasty. I'm not going to give them a horrible rating, but that draw was nothing but an ash flavor. I didn't even taste menthol with that. It was almost like an ash, like I'm smoking the ashes gathered up from the ashtray. And that's not a pleasant smoke. I mean, to me, that's not a, a satisfying smoking experience. The nicotine, the nicotine hit that I'm getting from this is moderate at best. Um, now, they don't market anything on here as being reduced nicotine. Uh, they have your, you know, well, of course, the common Surgeon General's warning, quitting smoking now greatly reduces serious risks to your health. Duh, we all know that. Um, but, you know, that's easier said than done, isn't it? But um, it doesn't say anything here about reduced nicotine uh, it doesn't say anything actually at all about the nicotine level that would be in these things compared to uh, uh, your run-of-the-mill cigarette. 
It does say natural American spirit cigarettes are not safer than any other cigarettes. That's another disclaimer they have on the packaging. Uh, if you have any questions, you can call 1-800-332-5595. Um, I don't really have any questions that would warrant me calling this number and being on hold and talking to somebody who probably doesn't know and they'll probably get my email address and email me the uh, information I'm looking for. And even then, from my experience, the, email, the, the information that they email you is vague at best. Um, uh, well, Oxford, North Carolina. Um, yeah. Tobacco, tobacco ingredients, tobacco and water, says it right down here. I don't know how well you can see that. Eh. Tobacco and water. Um, I don't know if it's the way they make the cigarette, the, the process, the manufacturing process that does this, but I don't, I'm, I'm sitting here holding the cigarette and I do not have uh, a desire to continue to smoke it, but I'm not going to waste, <laughs> I'm going to waste it. Um, like I said, I picked these up for four bucks. You know, they've got a lot of different offerings. They've got uh, a black, which is, um, from what I've been told, is a very, very hard, harsh smoke. Um, but I'm not afraid to try anything once, so I might get those. Um, but I think the next time I get these uh, with my coupons, I'm going to get the Mellow Menthol. I have tried those before, and I did not have any issues with those and have any complaints. Other than the fact that they're king size and they seem to go quick, but um, you know, they make them one size, big deal. Another saw withdrawal. It's about the same as I did before. I got a if you you, you know you notice I got a bigger cloud of smoke, a little more menthol flavor, uh, but still that unpleasant ash taste. And, and, you know, ash mixed with a paper flavor. Um, and now I'm getting down into the little emblem that they have here, you know, down at the bottom half of the cigarette. So we're going to see, uh, I'm going to smoke this for you. I'm going to see if this, um, this unpleasantness will either intensify or if it will fade away. And maybe the cigarette's more pleasant toward the bottom. I don't know. Uh, some cigarettes I've tried, even cigars, the closer you get to the bottom, the better they get. But that's disappointing because then the rest of the cigarette, it's, you know, by the time you get to that, you're already disappointed. Uh, which is what I am with these, unfortunately. The one thing I'll say is there's not a chemical flavor in, in these. So maybe that is pretty accurate when they say that the only ingredients are tobacco ingredients are tobacco and water. You know, well, of course, and the or organic menthol. Uh, but we know that papers that are being used by most major manufacturers is the flame retardant. Uh, and some people say they can taste that a little bit, that, that chemical flavor. So maybe that's what I'm tasting. Uh, but it's not a chemical flavor, but I don't know. I mean, you know, I encourage you guys, you know, if you, if you can get the coupons, you can get the coupons online. They'll send you a big pack of them. Uh, if you really want to give them a shot. Um, if anybody said to me, could you, if we were standing, you know, to buy cigarettes and somebody said, you know, well, I'm going to try something new, you know, something different, something new. What, what would you recommend? I probably would not recommend these. Uh, based on those these facts that I've already stated with the, the ash taste and the papery flavor, the straw like papery flavor. It's almost like you're like 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 you're smoking tobacco out of out of a piece of hay. It's just a little more menthol in that. I can taste a little more menthol. I, it started off as a very, very strong in your face menthol flavor and that went away at the few you know, the first few drags but I don't know I gotta look and see if anybody else has done any reviews and to see if they had a different take different opinion any other thoughts maybe somebody's already called this number and asked about that flavor that 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 flavor I, I can't get over that flavor it's like an ash paper burning paper flavor I don't like that 
Uh, but maybe that's just because I'm, I'm predominantly into cigars. I prefer cigars. And they're, the ones I smoke are naturally, you're their natural leaf wrapper. So I'm not getting a paper flavor. Maybe that's why I taste the paper over anything else in this. Now I'll give it that. That was a nice, pleasant drag. That was nice, a nice, pleasant inhale. I got a little bit of menthol. Uh, still not tasting tobacco though, uh, but I didn't get much of a papery flavor with that. Um, they do have some non-menthol offerings too. This this brand. So maybe I'll do that next time. Um, they have a couple different fla flavors. They come in colors. They go by color: dark green, light green, turquoise, yellow, black blue uh orange they have an orange which i would assume that the orange would be their equivalent of like the Pall Mall orange um or the eagle 20s orange maybe that's like like an, an ultra light i don't know I, I haven't seen them in a silver package so maybe that's their version of you know the marlboro silvers um you know like an ultra light or something but i don't know Maybe I'll try one. Try either the the turquoise or the yellow. The black ones I'm almost afraid to try. But like I said, I'll try anything once. Nice menthol. Maybe they packed all the menthol toward the filter, guys. Nice menthol flavor there. And now we're going on. Uh, we're going. We're approaching 17 minutes here, and um, you know, so it's lasting a decent time it's not like i'm smoking it and i no sooner light it and i look down oh man this is this is the cigarette's already done which would you know then kind of prompt you to smoke another because for me smoking a cigarette isn't just about getting a quick nicotine hit and that's it i like to sit and smoke a cigarette and enjoy all the different notes the different flavors and i prefer more of an earthy tobacco uh with a little bit of hint of a sweet flavor and if it does have menthol in it, I like to I like it to be more of a mint, a minty menthol, than like, well, like a Halls or a Vicks cough drop. And that wasn't so bad. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, this really tastes better when you get further down to the, when you're almost down to the filter, and that's really disappointing. I mean. This is the first pack I've had of these, maybe packs. The consistency is different in different packs, but which maybe I'll give it another shot with another pack from maybe a different store. It all depends on how long they were sitting on the shelf in the store too. If they're not selling, they're gonna be sitting there longer. So that could have something to do with it. Maybe if I go to like a Sheets or, you know, like a, like a, an actual tobacco shop and buy a pack, maybe they, they you know, maybe their you know, turnover rate on these are a little bit higher. Maybe people buy them more often. See, now I'm getting down and burning down to the filter. And, you know, my wife gets in my case about burning down and smoking it down to the filter. But I like to smoke every bit of tobacco that's in the cigarette. I don't like to waste things. See, now I know I'm in the filter. Now it's got to go. End review. There's too much paper flavor throughout most of the cigarette. I don't get that pleasant menthol flavor until the, the end of the cigarette. There's too much menthol in the beginning of the cigarette and it overpowers that and the ash flavor and the paper flavor overpowers the tobacco flavor throughout the cigarette to the end. I scale one to five, I gotta give these things about a two. Uh, that's probably the lowest review rating that I've given a smoke thus far. But, you know, Maybe somebody else will, you know, has a different taste. Maybe you'll like them. Um, if you like a kick in the mouth menthol flavor, you might like them. Um, if you don't mind other flavors masking the tobacco flavor, you might not mind them. But if you like to taste tobacco, I really wouldn't recommend these because you can't taste the tobacco. If you don't like that papery flavor to overpower your cigarette, you're probably not going to like them. Um, you know, I predict you'll probably be disappointed as I was that 
there wasn't really any kind of pleasantness until you got right down at the filter. And for me, I feel a cigarette should be consistent from light to you're snuffing it out. So, natural American spirit, full body menthol, two out of five guys, sorry.